Okay, so today we're going to be going back to that board where I was uh, pretty much cursing out Apple for their annoying practices and for not releasing diagnostics. I was going over how, it, uh, the, how the diagnostics used to tell you, here's the sensor that failed so that you could find it in the schematic. And I was talking about how on the newer machines that information is not available and how it makes it more difficult to repair them. So it brings me great pride and joy to show you that without that information available, we are going to make this retina work anyway, and again, fuck you, Apple. So, uh, I'm kind of ashamed to say how much time it took for me to, to find this little thing on the board. So we're going to roll the microscope over, and as you can see, right around the edge over here, there's this little piece of shit. Um, yeah. And the thing is, you know, I don't really have the time to go through every fucking sensor on a board w with the no-fix, no-pay model. Because there's such a chance that it's, you know, it could be, it could literally be anything. It could be the chip itself, it could be an SMC issue, it could be something inside the board. I've had it be, I've had cases before where the webcam connector was actually pulling the line down and causing the issue. You know, so if I don't have something to go on, that board is going to wind up on the absolute bottom of the pile behind the other, you know, 300 plus whatever tickets here that are open. So when you look at this, you can clearly tell that that is, that doesn't look right. And this is where visual inspection is very helpful. Come on, a microscope. Don't stop. You're making me dizzy. Ah, you're making me dizzy. So this thing over here, let's get it up to 45x. So that's 45 times magnification right here. Let's adjust the exposure so that it's proper. Let's get it in focus. If you have the articulating stand, like I challenge you to get anything into focus at 45x. It's damn near impossible. I like the straight. I love this microscope, but the straight stand is the way to go. Look, like I put my head on it. Whoops, whoops. Whoops, you know, it's, it, just, it just shakes like crazy. What's the point of having all the zoom when it's just make, there to make you dizzy? So if we look this up on the schematic and the board view, so I'm going to open up a uh, schematic. And, uh, well, this is actually not for the same board. It's for a similar board. I have to guess and hope that this has the same setup as the other one because, again, hell if we, are, we get access to any, anything that's actually legitimate. So let's go over to screen capture over here, and it's capturing the wrong screen. Ahem. <clears throat> That's not the screen I want you to capture. That's my open broadcaster screen. Okay, we're capturing the right screen now. Thank you. Get you in view. So we go over, and we click right over here, and it says that's Q5871. So I'm going to open the schematic and go for Q7851 and realize that I probably forgot the number as I was typing it. Okay, let's open the... Yeah, this, this is it. So did I forget the number as I was typing it? I'm pretty damn sure that I did. Oh, uh, joy. Let's see. So the board view software was over here. It's Q5871. Q5871. And that is thermal diode. Stop changing open broadcaster. That's thermal diode airflow. T-A-O-P. <sighs> Sensor. Here we go. So what I want to do now is I'm going to replace this little fuck, and we're going to see if that fixes our problem, and if everything gets fixed, and this annoying shit can get the fuck out of my sight. Uh, so those of you that don't remember this particular board repair, uh, this had a few issues. The trackpad connector was destroyed, decimated, and all of my donor boards didn't have one. You can see what the trackpad connector looks like over here. That's my trackpad connector. Pretty, ain't it? Uh, yeah. See that? That's, that's just beautiful, isn't it? That's, that's my trackpad connector. See how it's connected? Yeah, it's a, that's a flex cable that got ripped open and soldered directly to the board. That's something I never thought I'd be doing in my life. And honestly, the only reason I even bothered with the sensor on this piece of crap is because it went that far, you know? I mean, I got it to the point of being here. You know, hell if I'm going to give up when I'm, well, I already know what it is, and I've already invested enough time into it, so I might as well just make the fucker work. So let's get the air filter dragged over here, because as usual, I don't want to breathe in any of this junk. And I'll remove the sensor just with that. And that also will serve to tin the pads for me. 
So again, you may ask, why didn't I just put a new trackpad connector on this board? You know, I get boards that have holes in them uh, for donors. Well, guess where the trackpad connector was on all these, f uh, you know, on all these boards? Guess where the hole was? Guess where the hole was? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So let's pick up one of these really tiny thermal sensors. All right, so get the fine Hakko 3SA tweezers. For all of you people who love the Weeha tweezers, you can keep paying $34 for stuff that sucks. I will pay 5 to $10 for tweezers that are amazing. This thing is really fucking tiny, man. And that serial number is getting melted away. Do you think I care about a serial number on a board that tortured me to this extent? No, fuck you. Fuck you, I hope Apple sees that I was here. Yeah, when this is what the trackpad connector looks like, you know, we were here, if you, you feel me. It, like, there, there, ain't, there ain't no hiding it. Like, I was there, I touched this, and this is my work. So now we're going to try and turn it on and see if we have that bullshit with the fan spinning on high. So we're going to boot into an operating system. And let's see if I actually manage to fix anything. That's one of the benefits of doing, let's say, cell phone data recovery versus MacBook motherboard repair. You see, with data recovery, you get it to turn on to get the data great. With this, you know, I am fixing for the sake of this device being usable again. Meaning that if something doesn't work, I don't get paid. So if I get all this shit to work, but the fan is spinning like that, I don't get paid. And that's, that's a bunch of BS. So let's see what we have here. This board had quite a few issues other than a trackpad to my memory. It was sent in with, good night. It was sent in with replace trackpad connector and something like that, but uh, this may surprise you, but on stuff that looks like this, it's a lot more. So let's see what I get. Ah, oh, the battery. Oh, never mind. The battery's not dead. So we're going to boot into my operating system, USB 3 SSD, because I don't have patience otherwise. I forgot to reset PRAM. You're supposed to do that if you want to boot off of a different drive and you don't hold down options. So if you're using that as your main drive, because it boots up really slow otherwise. So let's see what we get. So the fan, hear that? It's a fan spinning at a standard speed. And a perfectly working laptop. And for all of you who are going to troll my, my trackpad, yeah, that's right. See that? I'm clicking around. I'm clicking. I'm moving, I'm seeking, and it works. I know, I'm as surprised as you are. So, for the moral of the story, Apple, you can hide all the schematics you want. You can hide the board views. You can hide the data sheets for the intracell chips so that I have to go out of my way to figure out how every single little part of it works. You can hide the diagnostic software. You can hide the diagnostic tools. You can hide it behind dumbass error codes in your website that make no fucking sense. And you can do all of this all day to keep people from repairing your products. And I will sit here every single day filming a new video, walking people through exactly how to get around all of your bullshit, and I will sit here to repair every single one of these things that you have deemed unrepairable and that you saw fit to spitefully hide diagnostic tools and diagnostic software for. And hundreds upon thousands of people every single month are going to tune into this free channel and figure out how to fix your crap. So for every single little bit of effort you put into making these products more difficult to repair, I will put an equal or greater amount of effort into making them easier to repair for people all around the world. Fuck you.